This is Martin Carla with RapChain from Pico CTF 2018. Can you exploit the following program and get the flag? You can find the program in this directory on the shell server. Okay, so we also have the source code here. We're going to take a look at that. And we have a vuln function. It's going to read from the input. So we have a normal buffer overflow here on the buff. This method flag is going to print the flag for us. But in order for it to do that, I need win1 and win2 to be true and also arg check2 to be dead bad. So to get win1 to be true, I need to call win function1. And to get win2 to be true, I need to call win function2 with bad. So let's summarize here. I need to call win function1 call win function two with this parameter and then I need to call flag with this parameter. Okay. So let's talk about how we would make the stack look like that. So we want to overwrite the return address with the address of win function one. Then when that returns, we need to have the address of win function two. We need something that will be a return address for win function two, and then we'll have the parameter for bad. Now you might think that I would want to put the address of flag here. If I put the address of flag here though, then it will view bad as its return address. So that would probably be okay for us, but if I wanted to build up something bigger than this, what I will want to do instead is I'll want to up here, basically say, I want the address of flag, I want its parameter, some return address, and its parameter. Now for this return address, what I'm going to do is I want to do something that is going to pop this one parameter off the stack. So it'll call win function one. When it finishes, it'll call win function two. When it finishes, it'll call this, which will then pop this off the stack and then do a return, which will call flag with this parameter. So this is what I want to set up. I need for here to find something that has the pop followed by return. So I'm going to go ahead and do an obj dump on ROP. We'll look for returns. So here's a return. So if I just put this address here, actually I want this one, 804840D, so I get the pop in the return. And now I need to find the addresses of all these other things. So here's the address of win function one. Here's the address of win function two. And here is the address of flag. Okay. So that's the plan. I need to figure out how far up the stack I need to go in order to get to where the return address is so I can put in these values. So if I look at vuln, I am passing in 18 down from 18 hex down from the frame pointer to the get x, uh, the get s, 
So that's going to be 24 bytes. The frame pointer will then have this above it and then return address. So that should be 28 bytes. So I need 28 bytes followed by these things that I've specified here. Okay. So there's my 28 bytes. CB Next address to B eight six zero four zero eight. A return address here that shouldn't matter, so we'll just put four Qs there, and then A D B A A D D E. So that prints it out. Let's pipe that into ROP. ROP AD. Ah, I missed the X there. And there is my flag. 